Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, where I'll walk you through a detailed demo of the Finance Tracker application, available for free on both Android and iOS, built using React Native. What makes this app stand out? It uses Google Sheets as its database and Google Apps Script for the backend, all hosted on Google's free infrastructure. You'll find the demo link for the web app, along with downloadable links for iOS and Android that you can use for free, in the description below. Stick with me until the end to learn the complete setup process. I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to deploy your own version of this app at no cost using Google's tools. You'll see how to set up the Google Apps Script backend, configure your Google Sheets database, and customize the app for various use cases beyond just tracking expenses. Let's dive into the demo first. I've opened the app on my Android device, and you can see a sleek home screen with a wallet-style interface. The total balance is prominently displayed, with an eye icon to toggle visibility for privacy. Don't worry about the currency formatting, you can easily change that in the settings as well as when you first launch the application. Below that, you'll notice quick action buttons for Add Income and Add Expense. The Recent Transaction section showcases a scrollable list of activities in a stylish card layout, with green for income and red for expenses, making it easy to spot your cash flow at a glance. Clicking the card opens it in a detailed view. You can also edit or delete any transaction using the respective buttons. Let me demonstrate the core functionality by adding a new transaction. Before that, let me open the Google Spreadsheet side-by-side -side to see the changes live. I'll tap the Add Income button, which opens a dynamic form. Notice the form is pre-populated with Income as transaction type. This form is generated based on a configurable schema, allowing me to enter a description, amount, transaction type, category from a dropdown, and optional remarks. The form includes real-time validation. If I skip a required field, it'll prompt me with an error message. Let's add a salary transaction of 1,500 euros. Then I will fill in the rest. After filling in the details and hitting save, watch this. The balance updates instantly on the home screen and the new transaction appears in the recent activity list. You can see the data has been updated in the Google Sheet as well. Thanks to the Google Apps Script backend handling the database operations seamlessly. Now let me delete this. And you can see the delete operation was successful. Now let's explore the Dashboard or Analytics tab. The Dashboard tab of the Finance Tracker app welcomes users with an intuitive and visually appealing interface designed to provide a quick overview of their financial health. Upon entering, the This Month section greets users with a clean, horizontal progress bar layout that showcases three key metrics income, expense, and balance using distinct color-coded bars, making it easy to grasp the financial status at a glance. The bars are accompanied by interactive labels, allowing users to intuitively understand their cash flow without needing to delve into detailed data immediately. Below this, the Category-Wise section offers a seamless navigation experience with a tabbed interface to switch between expenses and income views, enhanced by a date picker that lets users scroll through months with simple left and right arrows for a personalized time frame. The centerpiece is a vibrant pie chart that visually breaks down spending or income categories, with each segment clearly labeled and color-coded for an engaging and accessible UX. Accompanying the chart, a neatly aligned list provides category names and corresponding amounts, offering a quick reference that enhances usability by allowing users to scan details effortlessly. Transitioning to the Income versus Expense Analysis section, users are presented with a dynamic bar chart that compares income and expenses across a selected year. Featuring a tabbed control to switch between weekly, monthly, or yearly perspectives and arrow buttons to navigate years, ensuring a flexible and user-friendly exploration of trends. 
The chart itself uses contrasting colors for income and expenses, improving readability and providing an intuitive visual comparison. Finally, the Financial Summary section delivers a concise yet comprehensive overview with labeled metrics for total balance, monthly income, monthly expenses, net cash flow, and total transactions, all presented in a clean, scrollable card layout. This design not only simplifies financial tracking, but also invites users to interact with the data through its responsive controls, making the dashboard a central hub for managing finances with confidence and ease. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up. That will greatly support my channel. Next, let's check out the All Items view for a complete transaction history. Here, you'll see a list of all your transactions, each showing a description, category tag, date, and amount, with green for income and red for expenses. You can easily edit or delete any transaction using the pencil and trash can icons next to each entry. Now, let's move to the Filter Transactions panel. To access it, I'll tap the Filter button. Inside, you can select the transaction type, either expense or income, with tappable options. Next, choose a category, like food and dining, transportation, or shopping, using the available chips. For the date range, you can set a start date and end date in YYYMMD format, or quickly pick this month or last month from the preset choices. Once you've set your filters, you can clear them all with the Clear All Filters button or apply them with Apply Filters. That's how you can efficiently navigate and refine your transaction list. Finally, let's visit the Settings screen. It shows different sections, namely App Preferences, Admin Settings, Custom Categories, Help Section, and Preview Section, which can be expanded or collapsed. In the App Preferences, you can customize the app's preferences, change the locale, currency, or date format. You can put your email ID in the Admin Settings, and you can even add custom income or expense categories. In the Help section, you can refer to guides related to currency codes and locale codes. Finally, the Preview section gives you the preview of the formatting changes that will be applied. These settings are saved to the back end and dynamically update the app's behavior. For example, switching the currency to USD will reflect dollar symbols and formatting across all screens. The app's responsive design works flawlessly across Android, iOS, and the web, providing a consistent experience on any device. Now, let me guide you on how to use this application. First, you'll need to prepare the Google Spreadsheet and deploy the backend service. For that, start by making a copy of the Google Sheet, with the link provided in the description below. To begin, let's deploy the script attached to the Google Sheet, which will provide the API endpoint. Then, navigate to the Extensions menu and click on App Script to open the script editor. In the script editor, click the Deploy button, select New Deployment, and choose the deployment type as an app. Enter a description, set the execution to Run as Yourself, and under Who Has Access, select Anyone. After deploying, you'll be prompted to grant the application the necessary permissions. Once the deployment is complete, you'll receive a URL. Copy it for later use. You can also retrieve this URL from the Manage Deployment section if needed. Next, download the APK file using the link provided in the description below. Here, I've shared it with myself via WhatsApp. Before opening it, adjust your device settings by enabling the option to allow installing applications from other sources and permitting installations from sources other than the Play Store. With those settings modified, open the downloaded APK file and install it. Once installed, you'll be greeted with a welcome screen that will guide you through setting up the application. In the setup form, enter the app name, currency, and locale of your choice. On the next screen, input the app script URL you copied earlier, 
which will connect the Google Sheet to the application. Click Next to proceed. You'll then see an All Set screen. Click Get Started and the application will come to life. Here, you'll notice the new application name along with the modified currency formatting tailored to your selections. Now, if you wish to reset the application preferences, go to the Settings tab and click on Reset App Configuration. You'll receive a warning prompt and proceeding will reset everything, taking you back to the welcome screen again. Let me quickly redo the setup. And this time, I will use different currency. And here you go. See the app is reflecting the INR. In the next video, I'll explain the code base overview and how to push the app bundle to the Play Store, so stay tuned. Also, check the updated docs or guide in the description below, and I'll post any changes related to the application there. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.